I'd like to spend a few minutes telling you uh, some common issues that I see um, st students struggle with. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, plotting the lines and what the lines mean uh, for the acid and base lines. I want to talk about the, uh, the proton condition a little bit, and then I also want to talk about adding the lines together. All right. Let me start by talking about the, the acid and base lines. So let's look first at this uh, green line. Right, this green line represents uh, for ammonium as the acid, um, it makes ammonia as the base. And remember, we always plot the uh, equilibrium using the acid reaction. So even though ammonia is a base, we write the acid reaction for the base. And the pKa is 9.2, right? And I've plotted this. Uh, at an overall ammon ammonia ammonium concentration of 10 to the minus 2, right? Um, and so the total amount of ammonia in solution in one form or the other is 10 to the minus 2. Now in chapter 18 we develop the relations by combining the chemical equilibrium with the material balance. And we develop this equation for the acid and this equation for the base. And then we don't talk about the equations anymore because then we go to the Cillin diagram. In the Cillin diagram with the construction rules that we presented, in the blue line we're representing this equation. And the green line is representing equation 1830. And so instead of having to calculate and use these equations numerically, we're using them graphically. Now, one thing I'm not going to talk about with the graph specifically is developing the proton condition. That comes from combining the material balance for each of the species that's present uh, plus the charge balance. So the material balance for all the species uh, plus the material balance plus the uh, charge balance gives you the proton condition. And um, the um, the charge balance is is important. You can't solve the problem without the charge balance. The material balance by itself will not give you the solution. Okay? And um, for example, the, this text in purple at the top of my page um, might be something that we develop from a proton condition. I'm not, I'm not going to show you that. I just made this up and said let's imagine we've got this from a proton condition. And we may have to have this sum equal something else uh, that is you know, equals to something else that's a sum. And so I want to talk about adding, adding lines together. All right. So the way I like to add lines together, we would need to add this 10 to the minus fourth, which is this dotted red line, with the ammonium, ammonia, which is the blue line, plus the OH, which is this line. Okay. Now the, the thing students struggle with a lot is recognizing that we've got orders of magnitude here. And I like to add first by looking where the lines cross because this is 10 to the minus fourth at this point. The dotted red line is 10 to the minus fourth and the blotted, dotted blue line is 10 to the minus fourth when we are at this pH of about 7.2. So remember if we double things we need to shift upwards by um, three tenths on the log scale. We can see that if we go to uh, that lab. And so I've got um, log 10 of uh, 10 to the minus fourth, which is of course minus four, right? So the log 10 of 2 times 10 to the minus fourth is going to be minus 3.7, okay? Well, what if we had uh, what if we had uh, what if we had uh, ten to the minus five? Okay, and let's double ten to the minus five. That shifts up to minus four point seven. So you see, no matter what we double on the log scale, it's shifting up by three tenths of a unit. Okay, so that's convenient for us to. Um, that's convenient for us when we're thinking about the plot. We know that at this point both the, both the blue line and the red line are 10 to the minus 4, so the sum of them needs to shift up to um, about 3 tenths of a unit. Okay, 
and I can do the same thing over here where the red line and the blue line are going to cross. I go up about three tenths of a unit. Okay. Now, in between, I need to be very aware of logs, all right? So let me take uh, this at pH uh, 6. At pH 6, the red line, dotted line, is 10 to the minus 4th, but the, the blue line is approximately 10 to the minus 5th, right? So the sum of them is going to be very close to 10 to the minus 4th, okay? So if I take uh, log 10, uh, 1 e minus 4 plus 1 e minus 5. Okay, remember that's, you know, think about what that is numerically, right? And it's basically still minus 4, right? It's just a little bit higher on the scale than minus 4, right? So out here, it's going to be basically the, the width of my pen. Right? I go one pH unit this way, and now this, th then this number 10 to the minus 4 is almost an order of magnitude less than, than this value, right? So basically my pencil width. And then I go farther over this way. This is now very insignificant, right? Now I go through the same argument up here when I need to add together these units. When I get over at this pH range, this number is so small two orders of magnitude less, right? So I can completely ignore this when I'm in this range, and it's only these two that are important, okay? So I likewise go like a pH unit, just a, bit, a little bit above, okay? And so the sum of these three values is going to be a line that looks like like that. And so you need to do this when you do the proton condition and use it. You're going to add multiple things together um, and often need to do that.